As the Russian invasion of Ukraine threatens more lives, here are some meaningful ways that you can help. Everything mentioned in this video will have links in the description below. There are Ukrainian charities working at the forefront of the conflict that could use more support. Millions of people in Ukraine are in desperate need of safe drinking water and food, as roads have quickly become impassable and electricity and water supplies have been cut off. The most pressing needs are emergency medical care, medicine, clean water and shelter for people who have had to leave their homes. The following organizations as well as their global counterparts are actively supporting people within Ukraine as well as Ukrainian refugees that have had to flee their homes. Caritas Ukraine are helping people affected by the humanitarian crisis providing emergency goods including shelter, food relief and cash distributions. The Ukraine Crisis Appeal is providing urgent supplies to displaced and injured Ukrainians. United help Ukraine receive and distribute donations, medical supplies and food to Ukrainian refugees and people on the ground in Ukraine and support Ukrainian families who have lost soldiers to war. Donations help provide emergency medical aid and humanitarian relief to those on the front lines. Ukraine now are helping with things like food, medical evacuation and getting cash to those in need on the ground. Voices of Children helps children affected by the war in eastern Ukraine, providing support through art therapy, psychologists, video storytelling, and a number of other methods. The Ukrainian Red Cross is accepting donations from abroad to mobilize volunteers and provide resources and support to victims on the ground. Save the Children is holding an appeal to support families in evacuation sites and villages, to help distribute emergency items like food, water, blankets, medicine, and hygiene kits. They also help neighboring countries including Poland, Romania, and Lithuania to support people fleeing Ukraine. Nova Ukraine provide humanitarian aid to ordinary people and families with children affected by the war in Ukraine. They are collecting clothes, shoes, and household items and are asking for donations. Their Heart to Heart initiative assembles care packages for people in Ukraine. CARE is supporting local partners in Ukraine and neighboring countries through the Ukraine Crisis Fund to distribute food, water, hygiene kits, and money for supplies, as well as assistance to support the thousands of displaced families. Animal Save Movement is working to provide funds to shelters in Ukraine that are actively feeding and treating pets left behind and other stray animals caught in the conflict. All Ukrainian Foundation is providing direct assistance to children and orphanages in Ukraine. Razom for Ukraine is providing critical medical supplies and amplifying the voices of Ukrainians through their Razom emergency response. Sunflower of Peace aims to provide first aid backpacks to paramedics and doctors on the front lines. Revived Soldiers Ukraine provides medical aid to Ukrainian soldiers and provides support to their families. Vostok SOS provides assistance to victims of war in both Ukraine and Crimea. They help find shelter and deliver psychological first aid to those in need. The Global Empowerment Mission is running a welcome center at the Poland-Ukraine border. They're using their own funds to facilitate the influx of refugees to Poland. Paying for flights and trains to relocate anyone who can't find housing in Poland. Army SOS provides food and other support directly to Ukrainian troops. The International Medical Corps deploys mobile medical teams to provide emergency and primary health services, including psychosocial services to conflict-affected Ukrainian communities. The National Bank of Ukraine has created a special account to support the nation's military. Global Giving's Ukraine Crisis Relief Fund provides funds for humanitarian support in Ukraine, including shelter, food, and clean water for refugees. UNICEF Ukraine is repairing schools damaged by the bombings and providing an emergency response to children affected by the conflict. The United Nations Human Rights Council is working with governments in neighboring countries, calling on them to keep borders open to those seeking safety and protection. You can help support refugees by donating to the UNHRC. Outright Action is helping support LGBTQ plus groups and organizations on the ground who are setting up shelters and providing safety for citizens. Okay, so what if you can't donate money to a cause? There are still other ways to get involved and help Ukraine. Staying informed about the conflict and learning more about how citizens are being affected will help put pressure on the Russian government and governments worldwide to bring an end to the conflict. English language news outlets based in Ukraine like the Kiev Independent and the New Voice of Ukraine are covering developments on the ground as the conflict unfolds, with local journalists putting their lives on the line to report what's really going on. 
The Kiev Independent has been a leading voice on the front lines, covering ongoing events since the beginning and highlighting those who have been most affected by the violent attacks. The English language outlet is continuously reporting on how the invasion and conflict are impacting citizens, the economy, as well as Ukrainian foreign politics. The New Voice of Ukraine is covering news in three different languages, English, Ukrainian and Russian. They have not only covered breaking news, but have released informative information on the situation that details how the situation led to this point, and is continuously publishing op-eds from Ukrainian scholars and experts that help present the magnitude of the situation. Ukraine World's independent journalists are on the front lines and have gathered first-hand footage. On their social media account, they share informative sources that followers can refer to in order to keep up to date with the conflict. If this is the first you're hearing about the conflict in Ukraine, you may want to learn more about the background of the situation. Watch Netflix's documentary Winter on Fire, Ukraine's Fight for Freedom, and read up on the conflict. Ukrainians are sharing their experiences through social media, so hear what they have to say and support them. If you're following and keeping up to date with the conflict but you're still wanting to do more, or you don't have the financial means to donate, consider joining demonstrators around the world who have taken to the streets to protest Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Consider writing to your local member of parliament. A quick email to your local MP expressing support for Ukraine and asking for further action to take place can make the world of difference. A template email is available if you're unsure of what to say. The consensus is that it's quantity, not quality of email, so there's no need to overthink it. If you're able to, consider hosting a Ukrainian refugee. Housing site shelter4ua.com is calling on people across the globe to sign up to host a refugee in any spare rooms available. When on the site, just click the I can help button to fill out the form. If you want to get money directly in the hands of Ukrainians, you can book an Airbnb in Ukraine. Airbnb are waiving their guest and host fees in the wake of people booking Ukrainian Airbnbs, so all of the money goes straight to Ukrainians. There are a number of petitions currently underway that will be debated by governments and leaders once a set number of signatures have been obtained. Petitions are a great way to put pressure on governments to ensure that they put a stop to the war. For a list of some of the big ones, see the description below. Lobby reluctant governments to take refugees. Many countries are opening their borders to refugees fleeing Ukraine. The United Kingdom isn't one of them. Its current position is that only Ukrainians with relatives in the UK can apply to seek refuge there. It has been criticized for not doing more to accommodate displaced people. A petition has been launched to help put pressure on. Consider lobbying your own government to see if they can take more refugees. There are a number of online community groups that have launched across the world. Many are run by Ukrainian nationals who want to educate people on the history of the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. And it's a great resource if you want to find out more about the conflict and find other ways that you can get involved. Even if you can't host refugees yourself, you can still help house Ukrainian refugees. Organizations like the Glasgow-based Room for Refugees needs volunteers to help it approve accommodation providers donate clothes and other essentials. Find your local donation or drop-off center and donate any supplies that you can. If you're looking to volunteer with Ukrainian refugees, there are currently limited options for volunteering on the ground in Ukraine. Instead, there are organizations in surrounding countries where you may be able to find more feasible options. Some current options are Refugee Action, volunteers are assisting with refugee resettlement in the UK, and Refugees Welcome who are helping Ukrainian refugees in Poland settle into their new homes. During this turbulent time, it is important more than ever that everyone helps in any way that they possibly can. Like and share this video so it can spread to more people and make a greater impact. I really hope that this video was helpful and thanks for watching.